We tasted three wines for three different scenarios while watching Game of Thrones. Here's the selection. So this one here is the Videjo, which is 2016. It's a Rudra, so it's from uh, Spain. It should be quite full, quite rounded. It's more apricots, but this is the light-hearted uh, wine that we'll be having during the uh, scenes on Game of Thrones in the first episode. This is the Summer, which is a Cabernet Franc, which is from the Loire. Uh, this is going to be quite light, quite fruity, but uh, not too heavy. Not too heavy at all. And this is going to be for your sinister plots and bit secretive talks that are going on during the Game of Thrones. This is quite an amazing label that you can see there. <laughs> uh, bloody, to go along with our Game of Thrones bloody scenes. This particular one is a Shiraz 100% 2017 from South Australia. It's interesting because it's made by Fresh Juice Press and their winemaker actually does really um, unique kind of independent wines. So this will be really interesting to see what this is like considering that they're really taking a lot of care with this. Vegan, by the way. The ring looks different. Oh, wow, they started with the wall. Yeah, broken wall. Broken wall. And the flipping. Oh, this is completely different from the others in the beginning trailer. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Have you ever seen the Oreos? Oreo one. <laughs> or yeah, yeah they, they built the, they did the whole uh, intro as uh, Are you Oreos. making it up? I'm just, you're making that up as you go. No. He's running. He's scared. Oh, he's gonna get killed. He didn't get killed. Right. First uh, kill. First kill. Which one's which one's the kill? Oh, it's a band. Oh no, no, there's people around. Oh, okay. No. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> oh She's back. Ladies and gentlemen, she's back. The music's different as well. Wow, we've never had that before. Oh wow, yeah, because he hasn't seen Brian, has he? He thought he was dead. Okay, Sinister, I'm going to go for the red. Oh, really? Oh, it's getting for the sinister red. We don't have time for all this. The Night King has your dragon. He's one of them now. The wall has fallen. The dead march south. He's gone straight into it. Yeah, he's. I like that. It's intense. This is intense. Yeah, the wine's smoky. Yeah, this wine's pretty smoky. Minty, flinty flavours there. So it probably goes well with quite some meat. It does indeed. The other one they seem to do on every way. Game of Thrones is that they seem to have this rebellion between them and they sort things out and they're like, yeah, alright, and mm. <laughs> what do you want me? It's called stringing out a storyline. It's, story line. it's, it's all light now, it's all light. Yeah, it's all light fine. Well, no one's dead yet. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised that the White Walkers aren't already there, but. That's a good point. I mean, they don't eat, they don't sleep, they just walk. Go okay, down well. What do you think of it? Uh, no, it's lovely. She lost it quite a few times. What did she call it? Needle. Have you ever used it? Needly needle. Once or twice. Oh, once or twice she used it. Seems a bit like catch up actually, this first sort of 15 yeah. minutes, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I'm oh, the hair's in grain. The B I T C H. <laughs> the dead have broken through the wall. <laughs> Grey joys. The bad kind. Sinister! <laughs> Sinister. But who's this bloke? Oh, he's new. Actually, you know what? I think this does work. Like, whenever there's a Sinister moment, you're having the red wine, it's a bit more like, oh yeah, you get into that moment. Whereas white wine, like, oh. Uh, do you think, would you say red wine is dirtier than white wine? <laughs> well, I think white wine is so refined. It's very, oh, very clean. Oh, I see, I see. But red wine, uh, yeah, basically, you use everything. In the what the grape, the stalk, the, oh, the skin, I see what you mean. The, the juices, yeah, that way, yeah, uh, the pips, yeah, so it's dirtier, I think, yeah, so it goes more <laughs> sinister. This uh, blood rind is not going to be drunk anytime soon. I thought it was gonna be the first 15 seconds, someone just dies, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be like, going, Oh my god, and just drinking the red, but um, okay, right, it's it smells and looks very full bodied, yeah, it's got a kind of um, oh, eucalyptus kind of. 
Oh wow, it's a juiciness, ripeness to it. It's full of flavor. Horses. 2,000. And elephants. Uh, no elephants, Your Grace. That's disappointing. Oh yes. Do you know? He's Golden Company's captain. He loves stepping forward, doesn't he? He's got balls. Definitely sinister. And his grey joy knows how to work up. I'll give her that. I quite like this summer. It's um, smooth. Oh. Really? He's going to write it back to her bedroom. <laughs> Why is he purple? Well, because he's poisoned, isn't he? Uh, the big, big man. Hey, one of my favourite characters. Bron! Welcome back. And he's in the usual place with loads of women. So she wants to murder someone, but she can't send her soldiers. If it's a dragon queen she's after. She has other plans for the Targaryen girl. Oh, wow. He's asking him to kill Tyrion. She has a keen that is super sinister. Justice. Wow, well, he won't do that. Whoa. You think he'll just quit and just leave to go to the other side? Well, he won't be in King's Landing, will he? So he can do whatever he wants. Maybe he just knew it wasn't going to work. Finally, somebody. Else. Justice. Annoyed. Yeah, I can see that happening. We can take our home back. The Daenerys went north. The Daenerys will need somewhere to retreat if they can't hold the north. Somewhere the dead can't go. He wants to go back to the Queen, doesn't he? Go. What is dead may never die. What's she gonna do? What is dead may never die. We kill the bastards so anyway. he's gonna go back. Is she gonna go back? Spect is how the young keep us at a distance. So we don't remind them of an unpleasant truth? What is that? Nothing lasts. Oh, you're so miserable. Oh. One of them's gonna die. Well, they're all gonna die. This is the last series. <laughs> oh, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great in 3D. <laughs> wow. Well, it's nice it's, no, I, no, I don't know. Exactly, it's a bit of a difference. Is this light-eyed? Oh! He's going to fall off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all I expect him throwing up after a roller coaster like that. Oh. Uh, kissy kissy. <laughs> what happened to all her other boyfriends? Yeah. And I have to admit, this is like the first time you've seen her smile in this show. Wow. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so now, it's a bit pouring out. I, th I think maybe this one might go first. And this is practically full because no one's really died. Which one do you think is the best one out of the three? Um, I think my favourite is still the Samur. Oh, this, um, this, the light the, red, yeah? Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to die in this episode. Do you not? Like yeah. big, you mean like big characters? Yeah. yeah. Without her, we don't stand a chance. It's intense, this is getting intense. Yeah, we are watching that too closely. Do you, have any faith Do you have any faith in me at all? No. You know nothing, Jon Snow. No idea. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh. Yay! Yeah. Do you remember the last season yeah. where he was shoveling like shit? Oh, he needs the last of his house as well, doesn't he? Oh, oh, he doesn't so realise so she so burnt so his so father so and from my family. brother. Oh, no. God, it's got intense. You know? Yeah, it's not getting light hard, is it? It's getting deeper and deeper into... <laughs> oh, Cabernet Franc! <laughs> it is getting lower, ladies and gents. It is getting lower. That's for sure. I'm sure it's quite low as well, but I think that's, that's because, because we talked about it. Because yeah. <laughs> we know at the end of it, we're going to eat I'm not king in the north anymore. I'm not talking about the king in the north, I'm talking about the king of the bloody seven kingdoms. Wow. Right, well, you need to prove it. Whew. Take a drink. Um, having yes. all that power for so long and then they give it away. Maybe that's why this is all like catch up. So far, I think this episode's been a bit disappointing, but I sort of expected it to be. Oh, wait, wait, they're at the wall, aren't they? This is the wildlings. Oh, yeah. They're at the wall. This is, I think this is the end, you know. 
Stay back, he's got blue eyes! I've always had blue eyes! <laughs> I've always had blue eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> that's the best light-hearted scene ever. Uh, nah. Oh, that's a bit weird. It's a message. <gasps> we'll get there before the dead. He's alive. The kid's Just alive. Just have to hope the Night King doesn't come. The kid's alive. Go <laughs> oh, Jamie. Here we go, Jamie. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so no one likes him. No one recognises him. That's even funnier. Oh, oh dear. You made me like this. But he doesn't care. Because he's the three-eyed raven. So I think he's looking at him in a different light. He's looking at him. Yeah, maybe not. Ah. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. Disappointing, yeah, you say. Yeah, I've got to say that as well. But yeah, I, he, he, was, he had to do it. Because I think... We need backstory. You've drunk some of the wines, Lawrence. Okay. So tell me which one was the supermarket wine. If I haven't explained already, so, basically three of these wines I picked. One is from two are from a wine merchant. One was slightly bigger kind of chain wine merchants, uh, but one is definitely a supermarket wine. Uh, so we've done this before in a previous episode, which was the first GOT one that we did, and this time I brought it back. Um, but okay. Lawrence, it's all down to you. If I was going to be honest, I think I'd find this one quite tough. I think they're all great wines. So this is a uh, Verdecco. Yeah. Um, beautiful. A uh, little uh, little logo on there. Okay. Um, very nice here. Right. Very beautiful. I wouldn't see that in the supermarkets because I think it's too unique looking. Um, and it's a a grape that's not common. Um, supermarkets would sell common. Grapes. Interesting. Summer, Cabernet Franc. Again, I'd say this is unusual Okay. for a supermarket to, to sell. I'd say it is unique. Maybe not as unique as a Verdeco, but okay. um, I also think this is not the supermarket wine. Oh, interesting. And the last one. All right. A Shiraz from South Australia. Okay. It's a big region, but it's not... not a small area. That's true, yeah. And Shiraz is a big grape, it's a very popular grape. But the only thing this one has on it for for it not to be a supermarket wine is that it's got a really cool jazzy label. I'm gonna go for this one. This one here okay. is the supermarket wine. Are you ready for the drum roll? <laughs> this is the supermarket wine. <laughs> Uh, and this one is the Samur. <laughs> that was my second choice. I was thinking of changing my mind. This uh, was tricky. This is tricky because one is that I picked it and I knew that Samur and a company Franks, they do it really well. And they do it really well, but they also do it at a really good price point. And that's not just for independents. That's also for supermarkets. And that's also because it's not popular. Um, and like you said, the Shiraz is popular. That's why you thought it was a supermarket wine. Um, this is actually from Waitrose. It does very well at its price point. It does quite well as flavor-wise. You know, that smokiness coming from it, that was something I'd really not really come from uh, Cabernet Franc. So I thought mm. that interesting notes, I can understand why it put you offside to it. I think the other issue as well is the fact that we didn't drink as much of this. I think that was another key factor as well. We kept tasting this, kept drinking this. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, I mean like, this is the one he poured me at half time, so I mean, and it's still pretty much there. There's no blood, no, no one died. No, no one died. No one died. It's Game of Thrones' fault. We will have more videos over here uh, and subscribe down here when you guys get a chance. Uh, we will be back with probably more wine news if you've been watching it. Mm -hmm. Yes.